2015 Sunday. This video is to teach the owner how to take care of the hamster post-operation. This hamster, 39 grams, came in yesterday with two warts. One wart is on the lower right foreleg, elbow, and the other wart is on the side, the, the right side, the flank. Now the operation has been done by Dr. Daniel yesterday. Hamster is two and a half years old female, weighing 39 grams. And the two warts have been removed using isofluorine gas. Anesthesia, they are about uh, two or three millimeter times three millimeter. Where this we remove, and this was yesterday. So today we will weigh the hamster now before it goes home. So wearing the glove, okay, put up here. Wear the gloves. The assistant, the hamster is zero now. Okay. So yesterday was thirty nine grams. So today is. 35 grams, so lost 4 grams after the operation. Now, this video will show how the owner should do the post operation uh, treatment. Now, this hamster has a wound there, as you can see on the right side. So, now, first of all, we, we will put the, 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 I mean, the assistant will hold the hamster and put it back there first, put it back into the container first before it falls down. Because the hamster likes to run, likes to run. So this one, we will get ready now. The equipment used is antibiotics and anti-inflammatory. Just one drop two times a day for ten days. This is here, vitri and prep. Then uh, the other one is the for the wound. There's a chlorhexidine, which we need to use one cotton bud. And then after that, we rinse off with uh, two cotton buds with, with plain water, rinse off the chlorhexidine. And we'll do it two times a day for at least 14 days to remove the inflammation. The inflammation is on this side. Hold first, as you can see. Just hold from inside below. Below there. You can see uh, that, that one. It's been very long, right? The hamster has been licking it since uh, one month ago. So that is the one we are treating. And uh, the wart remover, show the wart yesterday, the wart remover is uh, below the right. Yes, stitch. Hmm? The left side. Yeah? Got stitch? There. Yeah. One stitch here. Wait, let me focus first. Wait. Can't focus. One stitch. Wait, no? focus first. Wait, one stitch there. I'll put here. I'll put here first. Now, this hamster does not bite, so actually it's quite easy to hold, but still wear. Wear the gloves. Now don't let it fall down because sometimes it runs very fast. So just put on the, on the table so that I can see the, I can focus. Uh. So the, the what is removed from this side, this side. Mm, turn, turn, turn a bit. Turn. No, wait. So the what has been removed from the elbow actually. Uh. No stitching? No oh, stitching. She should bite. Uh. Okay, so okay, now put it back down first. Put it back down first because he's quite not happy already. Okay, so now ready, we prepare to give medicine. So this one I put one side first. We put further first. No, put away first. Or put away first. Okay, so we just concentrate on giving medicine the antibiotic and the each. Okay, ready? So bring up the hamster onto the tabletop wearing gloves. Okay, then. Of us get no wait, put down first. Get, prepare the medicine one drop first, yeah. Prepare it. Okay, no, one drop ready, okay. So wait, let me just show. One drop one. Eh? Mm. You see? You have to prepare first before you bring the hamster out. No the drop come off ready. Yeah. So holding the hamster properly, okay, put it back down first, put it down first. So prepare the drop first, prepare one drop up first, if not ask assistant to do, assistant will do. Okay, assistant do, if not assistant, just hold, hold the hamster, one drop. Then the other person, no one drop, okay, put the one drop, one big, big drop, wait. Is there one drop? Yeah, one drop. Okay, then 
put near to the mouth so you drink okay drink ready okay mm -hmm. finish put it down first then now we take away the mason first so now we bring the the disinfectant for this hamster there's no need to clean the surgery wound because it's a very small wound now we just clean the side wound where he has been biting okay so the same thing so dip in first wait wait dip in dip in first make sure you've got the claw hexed in wait don't uh, then close the cap first close the cap then put it away then take the hamster out with the glove hand put flat under the flat under the uh, and then rub very hard to clean away the dirt maybe some fungus there or bacteria very hard rub then uh, one more time from the other side the, the other end uh, the other end make sure that we clean because the hamster keep on licking okay clean the, the, the side there very clean clean away the dirt okay then the assistant hand, hand over the water yeah. now we use water lots of water clean very hard yeah clean away the dirt and the okay two sides that means four times huh? four times like painting like that mm. painting very hard So no more instead side left. No, no more, no more. Uh, claw accident left. Check carefully. Okay, then the wound is okay. Eh? Okay, then put it back. So we do it two times a day, and uh, that's how they clean up the wound. Then about two weeks later, we will check and see whether it's much better. Or not. It should recover much better. Shouldn't have this wound because this wound can get infected. Topaya Vets, February 22-2015 How to clean a wound in a dwarf hamster post-op and also for ordinary wound